Chelsea Tech here, back with another video. Today, I want to give you a tutorial for something different. I found this very helpful. So, I'm going to be showing how to transfer easily and efficiently and reliably videos mostly from your phone, in this case an iPhone, to a laptop or a computer. So, uh, let's get started. All right, guys, the first step is to get VLC on your phone. So I'll show you real quick what that looks like. You want to launch the App Store and then uh, just search VLC. Here it is. Um, I already have it. So I'll open it for you. And there it is. It's just um, you can store videos and stuff on it or... In this case, I'm going to be using it to transfer videos and pictures work too. So that's the first step. Okay, guys, the next step is to smash the like button. No, not actually, but I would appreciate that. As well as subscribing. I think about like 99% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so that'd be great if you did that. But the actual next step is to uh, open photos and then select the videos that you want to transfer to your laptop or computer. It doesn't work for pictures, but they're much easier to transfer anyway. So select those videos, hit the share button, uh, the box with the arrow, find the uh, save to files button, it's right now the last one, and then select VLC here and click save. Now those, those videos have been saved to the VLC app, so if I switch over there, you can see these three files were just saved um, right there. So there's two options for the next step. One's easier, but I'll show you both in case you don't want to do one. All right, guys, the next step, the first option, which is easier, is through iTunes. So if you don't have iTunes, there's another way that I can show you, but this is the easier way, faster way. Uh, not necessarily easier, but it's definitely going to be faster. So, um, launch iTunes on your computer or laptop. This is actually my computer, my laptop. I, it's being weird with OBS. Anyway, plug in your phone uh, to your computer and make sure it's unlocked, and then you click the Trust button. And then here's, uh, here's iTunes. All right, it just uh, recognized my phone. So I'll go over to my phone here, I'll click on the phone, I'll go down here on the side to the file sharing button, and you can see VLC is right here. So on the VLC tab, these three files here at the bottom are the ones that I just transferred in. So what we want to do is select these three files, or we you know whatever you want to transfer, don't know what these three are. I think it's remnants of stuff that I deleted. So select the files that you want to transfer and then click save. Just save it wherever. So I'll just save it here to my desktop and select folder and it's saving the files and they should pop up. Yep, there they are. There's the three files. Now, that is the easiest and really the fastest way to do it because it just uses the USB connection the next way doesn't require iTunes, but it, it pretty much uploads it and then downloads it again. It transfers it through the internet, uh, through your Wi-Fi. So I can show you that way next, although it's definitely going to be slower. Okay, guys, the next option is to transfer via the internet. I believe what the phone does is uploads these files, um, and then you just download them. So... If you go into VLC and the network tab at the bottom and turn on sharing via Wi-Fi, then it shows you something that you can navigate to. Um, one option is an IP address, and then the other one, which I never tried, I'll do right now. So there, I typed it in, the HTTP, and then iPhone.local. There's also, you can use your IP address, that works as well. And here it shows these the files that I put in the VLC app, and I can just download them. And that's 
It is easy, although it requires your phone uploading the fit photos, or I mean, the videos, sorry. So it's easier just to transfer them without uploading them. But there's that option. You can do it either way. All right, guys, one thing I should mention here quick is that these files, the MOV files, will not be able to be played by the default player in Windows uh, unless you buy this extension here. But a very easy workaround is just to use VLC, the same program but for Windows, and this plays it just fine. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Please uh, like the video, comment anything I left out. If you have any questions, I will try to um, answer the best of my ability. And uh, subscribe, please. A uh, quick walk through the steps here, uh, just so you know. First, you have to take the video and then save the videos into VLC and then transfer it via iTunes with file sharing or via the Wi-Fi link way that I showed you. Very easy, very straightforward. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.